The new year symbolizes a fresh start to many, a popular time to make promises to ourselves. Resolutions of what we will or won't do in the new year, and maybe this next guy sounds like you. Scott Moss lives in Minneapolis. He doesn't care for resolutions, so he did something different. When this year started, he embarked on an entire challenge year, and he shared a recap with our Aaron Hassanzada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't really have an end goal in mind, which which sounds kind of crazy, but I just wanted to see what would happen. Scott Moss started his challenge year with dry January, a month with no alcohol. You decided I'm going to do only cold showers in the month of February. Yes. You live in Minnesota. Yes. I think it's a true test of discipline if you can take cold showers. That it really helped me be more alert throughout the day when I took them. And so it provided a little bit of a natural energy boost. In March, it was daily meditation. What I found with that is that anxiety wasn't necessarily my superpower, rather it was hard work and discipline, which is, I believe, something that everybody can, can build to and strive for. Moving on to April, 30 minutes of daily reading. Yes. How did that go? This was a fun one for me. Um, so I really enjoy reading. And that's the thing about the challenge here. It's not just about pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. It's also about making more time for the things that you enjoy, the hobbies that you have out there. The difficult thing about this was actually trying to find the 30 minutes that I needed. Time doesn't seem to be the limiting constraint that I face, and this is something that I found throughout the challenge year, but it's just prioritization. In May, Scott rediscovered his love for writing. This one is interesting. We get into June. 20 minutes of daily trash pickup. Where did you do that? Yes. So I live in Uptown. And so what I did for June is I just walked out uh, my front door and started picking up trash for 20 minutes a day. Did anyone ever ask you what you were doing? Yes. It's a busy yeah. traffic area. Yeah. So I'd say maybe um, every two times or so I went out, somebody would ask me what I'm doing. And uh, the first question would be, well, are you getting paid to do this? And I'd be like, no. And they're like, is this community service? Are you getting punished? And like, nope. And then I was just like, I'm just doing it because I'm trying to do this challenger thing or I'm just picking up trash on my own. And perplexed people. They were, yeah. I got I got some hugs, a lot of thank yous. In July, Scott went from a pot of coffee every day to no caffeine. The no caffeine, this was the hardest challenge that I did all year, hands really? down. Much harder than cold showers or no smartphone. He skipped meat for the month of August and then came September. Okay, no smartphone. This is the one where I wrote in my notes. How? Question mark, yeah. question mark. Because you have a, mm -hmm. you know, a professional office job. Mm -hmm. You're busy like everybody else. Yes. You can pull this off. Yes, I do have a separate work phone. And so I did keep my work phone, okay. but I only used it for work purposes. This was not an easy one, and this was actually probably the most frustrating one, to be honest. Did you pull out the old iPod? I did. So I have I have a like a 2008 iPod video, and, you used it? and I used it for probably the first 10 days or so. Unfortunately, Pascott did not have a very good taste in music. Scott said goodbye to his flip phone and rounded out the year with daily letters of gratitude to family and friends. You said this year made me more disciplined, more thoughtful, and less anxious. Doing something or giving something up intentionally every single day for a year, that also had its own big impact on my life. It kind of just lets me know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. It seems like you're kind of geared towards wanting to challenge yourself. You're into like self-improvement. I can tell mm -hmm. you you're talking about this. I mean, mm -hmm. do you think it's achievable for other people? Everyone's in a different spot in their life. And maybe they're not ready for a full year of challenges. Maybe they're not ready for something every single month. But maybe they can try something for one month every week they do something different. You don't have to do the things that might be on my list. Find things that you enjoy or that you want to find uh, if you can do or push yourself out of your comfort zone. You don't have to stick with these. Challenges. Exactly. Build your own challenges. You said you took on an adventure of discipline and self-discovery. What did you learn about yourself? I'm more comfortable with, with who I am. I know what I can do and I know what my limitations are. And this year has helped show me those. How do you know what you can do unless you actually go out there and try it? Are you going to miss it? I, I, I don't know. We'll see. I, maybe I'll start with dry January. I think it's a great idea, yeah. right? To find out what you can do and what you can do. Do you have the discipline? Because I just read something and they said that 80% of people break their New Year's resolution by February. So mm -hmm. 30 days most of us can probably do it, right? Yeah, if you break it up into those 30-day segments, it feels like I just have to do this one for one month.
And then I just yeah. have to do this other one for one Exactly. Month. And then you might find you like that one and continue it, That's right? That's true, yeah. So. Inspirational story for sure. Appreciate Definitely. that one, Aaron.